Folks, Sunday afternoon, welcome. Normally the tri-generational campaign, and that's what it's going to be. It's just not going to be the one that you're used to. Uh, had a little programming change. Uh, we've decided to go ahead with a B group uh, until everybody can make it back to the A side. So we welcome Sophia, our new player. Uh, she will be joining in as an Azamar. For some reason, I, I don't think they told her that I hate Azamar and I'm just going to target her. But, you know, she'll learn that quickly enough. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, &D, hit up our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like this T-shirt or this phone case, or I, we got a lot of crap out there, folks. Uh, the link is down there somewhere. Check it out. Most importantly, if you want to join us on a one-shot, uh, like uh yes last night this is the fourth game this week uh last night was a one shot or tuesday talk show hit us up m hobo inc twitter or gmail we'll get you on one of those shows and uh give you a little bit of talk time so my throat can recover we also like to thank our sponsors uh pirate dog dice for dice that don't suck uh if you're looking for custom dice check them out on twitter at pirate dog dice and of course uh our game smells like success Maybe not today, but we'll see. Uh, Adventure Sense from Odd Fish Games. If you're playing in a group in person, uh, that will liven up the event. They also make the Shine System. So if you want to write like me, only gooder, uh, check out their Shine System. Finally, uh, the How to RPG with Your Cat Kickstarter is live and 100% funded. So now it's time for the stretch goals. But go ahead and meander over to oddfishgames.com to check that out. Uh, folks, this is for mature audience, even though we have two underage individuals. Uh, one of them you already know. The other one you may have met on the one shot where dad was killed. Uh, this is the Margu Campaign B, and we will get to the specifics in a moment. Let's introduce you to the cast. As always, or as mostly, we will start uh, with the leader of the group, uh, the Elder, Frank. Who are you, <laughs> and who are you playing in this group? I'm playing Leon Sphinx, the Leonin Barbarian, yeah. cast out of his tribe for a dalliance with a cougar. Wow. Wow, I did not know the name until just now. Uh, <laughs> Thought I'd slip that by you. You did. Uh, well done. Uh, uh, we're showing our age, brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, AJ. AJ, uh, I'm sure it's a gambler of some kind. Who are you? Ironically, it is not a gambler. It should have been a gambler. Damn it. Uh, my name is Ralph. I'm a mountain dwarf fighter, and I am a haunted one. Uh, my family has a history of practicing the dark arts, and I dabbled in the dark arts myself until the night that it happened, the Brandy night. That night, a demon touched my soul, and from that night on, I've been able to bad. feel the you? evil, and he touched me. I have one of those courtroom dolls around here somewhere I can show you where, <laughs> but it was right in the soul. And I've been able to feel that evil inside me, and it must never be set free. There's a tingling in his pants. Go us on the evil. doll where they touched you, Ray. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what kind of doll that is. Pretty sure we're going to see the evil. I have no doubts of that. Next up is uh, little Frankie. Are you younger than Sophia? No, I'm older. Oh, not the youngest. Uh, now you're nothing. I know. <laughs> you're just I, the third Frank. I know. I, I'm only the third now. <laughs> I would think you could tell by his voice that he was uh, much older. I, I remember when man. he was that tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Florian, who are you playing? I am Gornak the Mighty, an amazing Leonian barbarian who, his favorite pastime, as you know, he likes to read. He really likes to read. Um, <laughs> likes reading and studying is some of his favorite pastimes. That sounds like a Barbarian, every barbarian. <laughs> I've ever he's, he's special. He's special. <laughs> yeah. Well, did, did you pull that name off of another game, there, Frankie? <laughs> no, I just it came out of my head when I thought uh -huh, of it. Because like, I swear that's a cartoon magazine out of a uh, some apocalyptic game. I'm pretty sure. Gornak the Mighty. Yeah. He was uh, a barbarian. Sounds and, like something uh, from He Man. Fallout or whatever it's called. Wow. Uh, next up is the youngest, the new youngest member of our group, Sophia. <coughs> Sophia, welcome aboard. Who are you and who are you playing? My name's 
Valdebub or Sophia, what's my actual name? I'm a fallen Asmore and a warlock. Wow. Fallen, touch soul, smart barbarian. This group has a lot of potential for me to ruin. Uh, last but certainly not least, Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? I am Frank. I am playing Barley, Barnum, the, and his amazing freak show. That I will buy. Uh, what there was something, I, I'm playing a, a, a cleric, a death warden cleric, with a little bit of heal. <laughs> Are and, we doing uh, an evil campaign and you guys forgot to tell me? <laughs> and uh, I, 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 uh, I, well, you know, I'm, I'm a human. This is the one class I have never played in any game. This is new really? territory for me, a human. Hmm. So, you know, I was called here. Oh, oh wait a minute. I thought you were a variant human. Eh, what's the difference? They're both yeah, have you seen his play style? He's a variant. Okay, folks, uh, the campaign is brand new, but these guys are all fourth level. These guys are in the Zito territory. Let's go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this is a mountainous region, southern, however, cold southern. Uh, these guys have been working on a uh, caravan circuit uh, between... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, where's my annotations? Uh, these guys have been working the circuit between Yinitz, Edgewood, Faust, and Peakwood. It is called the Garnet Oval because uh, that is how it is. Not the Silk Road because that would have been too corny. Yeah, yeah. Garnet Oval. Uh, these guys have gotten up to fourth level experience by fighting off caravan bandits, humanoids, and other atrocities known to mankind. Uh, Sophia, you are our newest player. Roll me a D4. Let's yeah. see where you guys are going to start. This is a D4 to see if you die instantly. And then click that. Now you click roll. Tell them which roll. A two. Huh. A two? You guys begin in Faust. Uh, Faust is known for craftsmen and mercantile people, as well as artisans. Uh, Peakwood and Edgewood are more agriculturally based. And of course, Yintense is a mining community uh, that specializes in, what else? Garnets. Uh, so you guys will start in Faust. Uh, this is a walled stockade city, or town rather, uh, it's not huge. It's not a large city. It's more of a small or a large town or a small city. Uh, but you've got a lot of options here. Now, you guys have finished the circuit. You've gone to all four of these places over the course of the last year, and you've been promoted to fourth level. Here, uh, you are well aware that there are inns, taverns, uh, artisans, uh, and things of that nature. You guys each have, uh, I'll, you know what, I'll give you 200 gold a piece to start it out. You do not have any mounts, so if you want mounts, you will have to buy them. In this neck of the woods, it's usually burrows, uh, hardy burrows that are somewhat obstinate. Uh, so your animal handling may be tested repeatedly if you obtain them. You guys have been on the walking tour for the caravan because mountainous regions... <laughs> Uh, a little tough to guard when you're sitting at the back of the group. In Faust, uh, I will start you off. Uh, where do D and D games always start? Let's start you off at the tavern, uh, the humorous bard, for no less. Uh, and as you guys sit there, each one of you get a different piece of information. Uh, Leon, Sphinx. Uh, you are well aware that the center part of this region, and again, I'll pop it back up so you guys are aware of what you're doing. Uh, this center part here is known as the Kandarsi Empire. It is mountain dwarves. And unlike Rolf, uh, these are nice dwarves. Uh, they do not feel the burning of their soul inside of them. But you have discovered... Uh, that rumor has it they've been having a lot of problems with giant and giant kind creatures and their empire may or may not have shrunk 
You also have heard that the Kandarsi Empire don't like no outsiders. So no likey. Uh, so that's, you know, something you want to do. You guys are tired because uh, the Garnet Oval is under new management and they're going with younger, cheaper personnel. Uh, and they uh. cannot pay you the hefty sum that you feel that you deserve. Uh, next up is Rolf the Dwarf. You have discovered that there is a town called Simpson right up here, and it has a excuse me, it has a humanoid problem, primarily bugbears. Uh, it, like Faust, is a stockade uh, encampment. Uh, you guys are nowhere near the major city, which is last fall. That thing is a beaming metropolis. Uh, so Simpson, Faust, Edgewood, Peakwood, and Yintins, uh, all stockade fenced walled cities. Uh, getting there is half the fun. Next up is, uh, uh, what's your name, little Frankie? Gornak. Gornak. Gornak, uh, you have heard that there is a cave in the middle of the Garnet uh, Oval and it has recently been explored by some adventurers who were far less qualified than you. And it appears to be a haven for snake creatures of enormous size. So that is the information you have garnered. Six. Uh, Beelzebub, you have heard that Fort Kane on the far side <clears throat> over here uh, has been facing off with giants more and more. The whole region is actually replete with these creatures. Most of the time they ignore uh, human, demi-human settlements, but for some reason they're a little bit agitated. And finally, Barnum, uh, you have heard of a dormant volcano to the south, not on this map, called Mount Kalig, and it is the home of a very old dragon with a lot, a lot, a lot of treasure, think smog, uh, but- It would go well with my freak show. It's <laughs> very old. Uh, and then of course, all of you are well aware that Edgewood, Peakwood, and Yintins uh, have, have their own curiosities, such as uh, underground corruption, uh, political intrigue. All of these towns are, are governed by boards, uh, elected or selected boards. There are no kings here, no dukes, no royalty. Last fall is yeah. uh, handled by a governor. And again, it is a massive city. But uh, the Kandarsi Empire is a no trespass zone. If you go in there, uh, you will face the wrath of anything that you find in there or the dwarves. So uh, that is what you guys have found out in the humorous bard. Uh, at fourth level, you have your options, but each one of you, uh, everybody roll a d20. Grab the note over here, click on that dice. 13. No. Two. Get them all out or just... <sighs> Wow, six. On which roll? I got a nice rolls are coming back to me now. My good rolls have faded away. My better rolls are back. <clears throat> I got a 15. She got a 19. Everybody above 10 is just tired of what you've been doing. You're tired of the caravans. It's just, it's gotten old. You want to branch out. You want to expand your horizons. Everybody below 10 uh, hates new management because they are clearly Marxist rebels hell-bent on taking hard-earned money away from you and uh, shipping it off to future corpses. Okay. There will well, be an office in all four communities uh, that house various hierarchies of this new management system. It used to be Garnet Oval Inc. It is now Garnet Inc. because they streamlined So, that being said, you have your options. However, one, two, three, four, five. As you sit around discussing your future, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Gornak the Mighty, you are bumped into 
How dare they? Oh, by a man in dark colored robes with crimson piping. Looks like one of them uh, magician types. Ooh, it'd be fun to mess around with him. I'll ask uh, him. Uh, I guess I'll ask him. Uh, <laughs> what am I going to ask him? What should I ask him? I'm just going to say, hey. Walking away oh. right now. <clears throat> Pansy. Just say, hey, why'd you do that? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you bumped into me. Are you talking to me? <laughs> if you look like somebody who sits or lays on my grandfather's floor. <laughs> What's my intelligence again? I want to see if I don't understand that. It's a zero. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He, uh, he is essentially uh, he's said insulting. you are nothing but a rug. I, I'm going to step up. Oh, oh look, a real barbarian. An armchair. <laughs> and I'm going to take a step towards him. Sure. Uh, this guy doesn't seem to care. Everybody go ahead and roll me Arcana. <coughs> I got you. Everybody. Yep. 16. 12. 17. Hmm. rolled a mighty nine. No, I didn't. I didn't roll it correctly. Okay. Arcana. No. It's a plus zero anyways. Okay. It was a nine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody with 15 or above knows that uh, this individual is somebody. Uh, he is a member of what is called the Brotherhood of Cause. These are sorcerers hell-bent on the destruction of society and pretty much jerks. Eh, so, Leon, don't you... I don't really so nobody care. would care if he... Don't really care. So nobody would care if he mysteriously <clears throat> disappeared? Probably not, unless he's like, you know, middle management or upper management. If he's upper management, you guys died today. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Campaign ends. Hey, that's all right. He can put me on his freaking floor if he wants to, then. Sure. Uh, so you step up, Leon. Uh, yeah. Any, anything you want to say to him? Yeah. I say that you need to uh, uh, watch your mouth. Uh, I can't. It's below my nose. Some of us don't have a flat nose like yourself. <laughs> and he, he takes a long pull on his mead. I Everybody, a perception at- check, please. That would be a, I don't know where it's at, 20, 30. Uh, Five. Ten. Mm, I got a real perception. 16. 13. Everybody 12 and above. Uh, Looky left, looky right. He has three associates. Uh, They are in different parts of the tavern, uh, but they have taken notice of the pending problem. But they do not move towards your table. I'm going to step right up to him. So wait, they're just observing the situation? Or just looking? Uh, Were you one of the ones that spotted him? Uh, I rolled a 16. I don't know if that counts. Yes. Yeah. You, okay. you notice they uh, they don't appear to be ready to engage or they appear to be hanging back to see what happens. Okay. Go ahead, Leon. Yeah, I'm going to step up and slightly bump him. Give him the elbow. Uh, while he's taking a drink or not? Yep. Even there. better. Fair enough. Uh, spill his meat on his beard. D12 against me. Let's see if you spill it. Nine. Uh, just a one. Oh, me, Al. Aren't you clumsy? <laughs> you know, he looks at you, and then he looks at Gornak, and then he looks back at you, and he goes, you should be careful because I... Siegfried Roy know how to handle something like you. And I'm going to say, well, here I am, big boy. 
That implies many a thing. But all right, we'll continue. And I'm going to let my claws kind of, what's that word, snick out? Sure. Yeah, I know that works. Uh, what spell does he want to do? Pick your teeth with them. How does he want to kill you? Uh, he goes invisible. Ah. Get, get flower like they do in the movies. Throw flower at him. A moment later, Beelzebub, you notice this sorcerer type is sitting next to you in Leon's empty chair. Mm. And he's drinking Leon's mug. What are you going to do, Sophia? Put my drink down. Okay. Yeah, it's your turn. He has put it down and hide it. Give me a stealth check or a sleight of hand. Give me a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. So take the mouse. <laughs> Scroll down. You'll see sleight of hand. Yep, and click on the number. You got to roll it twice and take the worst roll. Six, roll again. Okay, she rolled a six. The uh, D means you got to take. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, your sleight of hand to take his drink is like this. <laughs> He's covering his eyes while you take the drink. Fails miserably. Everybody, perception check. Perception, honey. Oh. 18. One. Four. All you see is the bottom of your mug, right? Now, is my character asleep right now? I'm starting to go under <laughs> the Six. Woo! We're all coming back for me, baby. Leon? Are you sure? What's it? 18. Uh, Leon, uh, Barnum, you notice the other three crimson robed individuals stepping towards uh, Beelzebub and her newfound friend. Uh, one of them sticks their hand out of the robe, and it's very fine, uh, pale hand, uh, very small, <coughs> possibly female. Uh, she pulls her cloak or her uh, cover back, and you can tell from the pointed ears that this is an elf. Uh, she does this, and uh, Mr. Siegfried Roy kind of <clears throat> gets up uh, and starts to walk away. The lady says, my apologies for my associate. Please have a round on me. No hard feelings. I'm just going to smile. She calls the waitress over. Another round, which is great because Ralph is probably at the bottom of his already. <laughs> uh, all four of these uh, Brotherhood of Kaz walk out the door. Uh, the female being the last one kind of does the tombstone apology wave uh, and they walk out. You now notice that the music that had been playing restarts and everybody seems to be whoo, relieved. Well, problem solved. <laughs> never see that guy again. Nope, never ever. <laughs> yeah, That's right. So bad to start off. <laughs> can I just have the meteoroid instead? Meteoroid? Yeah, can I have a meteoroid hit me instead? I'd rather die by that. Sure, that's fine. Well, you got to <laughs> see what Ralph does because you know that soulless guy's yeah, gonna. You mean if he ever realizes anything's going on? <laughs> that's right. He's, He's just, just carrying the bottle of the glass that says labeling. Like so each, each one fine. of you have a, a job opportunity, uh, or you can go back and uh, beg the uh, Garnet Ink for your jobs back. Hell no! Hell no! Oh, no. She's telling yep. me about some giants, man. I need to capture some giants. I got the dwarf uh, here. We need a giant to go with the merry band of freaks. Well, I will tell you guys what that little tidbit of information I got about the center of Carthus and the mountain dwarfs that uh, are in there don't like people coming in, but they're having a lot of problems with giants encroaching on their territory. 
So, Remember yeah, that? I mean, there's there's a possibility of something there, but we got to have a way of contacting them. If they don't want people coming into their territory, that could be tough. If you want to go right. play with Giants. Over at Fort Kane. Now, th this is the uh, – Kandarsky Empire. The color portion is uh, the Kardaski, or Kardaski Empire. Kardashian Empire. Kardashian Empire. Kardashian Empire. Big hills, yeah. deep valleys, you know. Car yeah. Half of it's made of plastic. <laughs> nice. Well that's a good one. That's, good a, good, that's a good one. Uh, I gotta be honest, I wasn't afraid until we just went through that. Now I'm a little scared to go through there. Uh huh. Uh, Ralph, but that's the only problem. Back. The only problem with that one, you know, like I said, we're going to have to have a way to get a hold of. And they're mountain dwarfs, so they're not going to have anything to do with Ralph. Him not uh, being a real dwarf and all. And, and oh, is Ralph, he a hill dwarf? You're a mountain dwarf, aren't you? I'm a mountain dwarf, yeah. Oh, yeah. My bad. I thought you were a hill dwarf. No, no Ralph, he was one right out. in with them. Yeah, Ralph's family left that area prior to Ralph's ability to think on his own. He was shunned. Uh, they were shunned. Uh, they were shunned. You mean yesterday? Yeah, pretty oh. much. Uh. Four or five <laughs> minutes ago with the one. Uh. One well, that's, three. So what did anybody else find out? We've all been in here for a while. Anybody uh, else hear of any? I heard of a dragon way down south in a volcano Ooh. with a massive amount of gold. And he's just real old dragon. He's just old. Probably a uh, easy one to minute. kill. You mean old or ancient? Hmm. I didn't hear anything about ancient. I just heard really, really old. When I hear real, real old, the first word that pops in my head is ancient. Well, I know. But ancient dragons are nothing. Down there. Ancient dragons are nothing to mess with. Ah. Not, not for this little group. We ain't got enough to for that. I heard a short little anything. halfling that snuck into one of those ancients and stole from it. Yeah, you did, huh? Yeah, that's a bunch of halflings are nothing but liars. And then a lake town burned to the burned to the water line. Yeah, liars hey, and thieves. Wasn't my man. town. Mm. Anybody else want to share what they've learned? I will. I'll share that there's a cave that's been discovered in the middle. Of the loop. There's a cave. Yes, there's a cave in the middle of the loop. Mm. In the middle of the oval, there's a cave. Is there anything yeah. in it? Anything in that cave? Or? Probably. People went in there. They probably did they come out? Wait. Yes. A lot of people went in there or just a couple like, of like, like four or five, maybe ten. Uh, it's small. Not like big, but small, but not like too big. Wait, kind the of cave small. is small? No, the cave is big. The party party of interest oh. was small. Okay, but why would we want big why big. would we want to go there? What's the it's a cave it's got stuff? This is like okay, a bad Monty Python movie. Oh, it's got <laughs> because it's got cave stuff in it. Yeah, it's got cave stuff. You know, what kind of cave stuff? Like spiders, tight gold sometimes. Spiders, There's spiders. Yep, and gold sometimes. Is there Apes? dragons? Anything to fight? I would like anything we could fight. Snakes. Is there sometimes. troll caves? Big snakes, like this big or this big. It depends. Is there cave trolls? No. Is there no ogres trolls. and bears? Oh my! Oh no. An angry gnome approaches the table from the far side of Ralph. It is a female, and she looks pissed. You don't even have to roll. And she points her stubby little finger across the table at Ralph and says, Ralph, Blue Nuggets, McBain, I have had enough of your cheating and philandering. We are done. <laughs> Ralph, you will notice this lady is... I'll say a dalliance of yours, and she may or may not have gotten your name wrong. <laughs> well, she got part of my name right. And I will just say to her, hey, look, lady, it was already done. You thought way more about this than I ever had. Now piss off. With a natural one, she does not take it very well. She le <laughs> leans back, <laughs> folds her arms. Oh, really? <laughs> Can I stutter? Can I get out of the way? <laughs> I'm just going to lean back a little bit. Ooh, I'm, I'm she moving. grabs the table and with all of her gnomish spite, 
flips it with a 10. So it's not going to go directly on you, Ralph. It's going to go left or right, odd or even. Six, even. Uh, and that is going to land it on Gornak the Mighty. All of the drinks pour into your lap, Gornak. And Ralph, as the table is tipped over, you can see her butt storming off. Give me an insight check. Uh, Everyone or dirty just... 20. That's right. him. This ain't no. <laughs> her family. Oh, not by a long shot. Her family's oh, kind of connected. Play, you got women trouble. <laughs> the dice giveth, the dice knoweth. Uh, the dice knoweth. That's a good one. <laughs> so uh, her. Her, fam the her, her family's kind of well connected. Uh, maybe a relative sits on the board here at Faust. Uh, but you can tell uh, your response fell on deaf ears. Once again, the DM's taking advantage of our weaknesses as yes. players. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm trying I to change it up. I didn't come I on. <laughs> I'm typecast, I guess. You will probably never see Matilda again as well. <laughs> Was her name Matilda? Matilda uh, Matilda Rocknugget. Sounds like a good mate for somebody in another game I know of. Used to be yeah. in a house. <laughs> 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 so uh, you've been in the tavern a whole hour and you've already had a run in with the Brotherhood yeah. and one of Ralph's dalliances. Well, did anybody else hear of anything? Anything? I mean, yeah, I heard. Come on. Uh, well, there's, a... there's something about giants attacking a fort game, but it's all the way on the far side of the uh, evil empire. The Kardashian Ooh. empire? Yes. Okay. Well, I heard about a bunch of humanoids up in Simpson. What are they doing? Ralph, is your father the police chief up there? My father? I'm not a humanoid. What? Wig Wiggum. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Wiggum. <laughs> beat me to it. I was going to go somewhere. Oh, that there. was good. That was good. I didn't. That, that's it. one to one because you got me earlier. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Oh God. I wonder if we go there and all the variants are all yellow. <laughs> yeah, they, they you know, all have jaundice. That's the they all have jaundice. You know, yeah. on that show, Wiggum's son kind of looks a little bit like Ralph. Wow. Put a beard <laughs> on him. <laughs> oh, thanks. Those fighting words right Ouch. there. Uh, I was going to say, this is, where, this is where the party breaks up. <laughs> those are fat <laughs> words there, buddy. They don't even have a single monster. Spoken. Just fought <laughs> each other the whole time. Oh, man. Well, my vote's for well, Fort Kane or Kane or whatever the hell it is. Kane, 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 Fort Kane, chicken. What's everybody else want to do? I, I, you know, I'd kind of like to go fight some giants. That's at Fort Kane, and 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 buddy up to well. and buddy up to those dwarves at the same time. Although I'd also be in, uh, interested in exploring that cave. It's a nice cave. It's pretty big. Cool cave. Well, where's the cave at? Right the there. That, oh, right well, there? Well, the cave is closest. We could do the cave first. You know. All right, let's do the cave. Okay. Woo, cave. All these oversized mammals going to the cave. Oversized? I am only four foot seven, you jackass. I oh, know, man. But I'm... you're also four foot seven wide. Well, that's why they look. <laughs> that's why they call them blue nuggets. <laughs> I was going to say, that's why they call me. Oh, I like that better. <laughs> So wow. you, ha you have your choices if uh, the cave, so you guys seem to be headed towards the cave. Uh, the I cave is across a cave. lot of mountains uh, and it, there is no true road to it. Uh, you can try and seek out the previous adventurers that found it, uh, those that survived, uh, and they might be able to go ahead and explain to you what happened. Uh, or you can just say, screw it and uh, take off across the way. You have a general idea. You don't have very many specifics, but you have a general idea on where it's at. So we need to get some provisions. We could see if a couple of us could see if we could find the uh, previous explorers. Sure. While the other ones gather provisions, if you want to do that. Do you have a name of the cave? Uh, no, you do not. 
Uh, you're supposed to get these details. It's probably the gates of Hades or something. You just know that there were a lot, uh, rumored to be a lot of snake stuff there. But again, perhaps if you find the previous group, uh, you'll understand it. All right. I'll go look for the previous group. Yeah, I'll do that as well. See what we're dealing with. Uh, okay, I got Leon and Ralph looking for the other group. Yeah. Uh, what are Gordak, Barnum, and Beelzebub going to do? I guess I'll gather some supplies if we're going okay. in a cave. Yeah. Are you, you going to get uh, critters to ride in? Yeah, I'm going to look for myself if I get a good deal. You, you said we what? We start out with 200 each? 200 each. Race. All right. I'll go to a stable to start. You know, a, a, a mule might be all right. I got built in spurs. Hey, those hind dew claws will do a number. Yeah, you, you have to, you have to uh, take into account that Gornak and Leon, eh, eh. <laughs> maybe <laughs> not maybe not mule uh, material. They get, we get around a mule, it's going to go crazy. We get around a mule, and I'm going to have to deal with another aberration running around the mountains. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Wrong game. Wrong game. Do, do they even <clears> really <throat> truly need things to ride? Don't they just run on four paws? No, come on. We, Wait, what is we walk speed? on two paws. Yeah, we don't have <laughs> paws. We've got hands with claws. Yeah, dummy. Whatever, kitty, kitty. All right, I'm going to a stable. Okay. Uh, go ahead. We'll go to whoever it was that gave the information about the the, the cave in the middle of the uh, oval. I uh, gave the information. Who did you get it from? The information. Yes. Uh, I forget. Just, Who just point, what? point, point in the right direction. We'll go ask them the if they know where the explorers the are. Okay, the barber, barber. is what told okay. me. Okay, we'll the go to find. A, oh, we'll they're getting my barber. mane trimmed, and then he told me at the at at the pet grooming. He was a pet right. smart and found yeah, out. I, I'll go to the barber and see if he knows of these uh, explorers where they went. Ralph, are you going with uh, Leon? Yep. The, the other three are all going to the stables. Oh, uh, we'll, sure. we'll start with I, Leon and Ralph. Which one of yeah. you wants to talk to the barber? Because persuasion will be involved. Persuasion? Let me see if I got any. Oh, I'll, I will. Yeah, probably better I don't. Uh, <laughs> let's do the good cop, bad cop. I will do the intimidation when it comes time for that. All right. Well, the Lee and Ned have... Uh, intimidation factors of their own but okay leon uh the barber's very busy uh are, are you here to get your hair cut or what my friend yeah I, I could do, i a, could use a, just a little light trim okay i'll get in a chair sure uh well the chair is busy so you'll have to wait <laughs> okay well while i'm waiting i'll talk to him sure uh he is working on a gnome because there the, there are a lot of gnomish individuals here uh it seems to be highly it's, prevalent it ain't a relative of what's her name is it? Uh -oh. funny you should say that <laughs> uh, sorry as alex he's, as he's getting trimmed up uh the barber spins him in the chair and takes the hot press off uh ralph uh go ahead and give me an insight check let's see if you recognize this guy ralph slice his throat do the mob it turn out it's like her father uh, hey, he might, he might do a high plains drifter and pull a crossbow out from underneath that towel, man. That's right. This is a Senda <laughs> rock nugget. This is her brother. Oh, boy. Ralph is going to reach into his pocket at where he has a religious item, and he's going to just keep it in his pocket and kind of mutter to himself a little bit while he's... A holy hand grenade. Yeah, not quite the holy hand grenade. Just uh, more like a, think like a crucifix. Mm, okay. Senda holds up his hand and the barber stops and he goes, my sister's looking for you. I already found her in the tavern. And? <laughs> I told her what's up. We're done. She knows it. She knew it going into it. She shouldn't have thought that this was anything more than it was. But in classic Matilda fashion, 
It ain't be like it is, but it do. Persuasion check. Oh, shit. These dice are not good with me tonight. Natural one. Uh, 11? The barber continues to work on Senda's hair. Uh, Leon, uh, you're talking to the barber. Uh, yeah. What are, you, what are you asking? I'm asking, I said, I hear uh, you had some explorers and found a cave up in the center of the Oval recently. Oh. Explorers? Uh, I had two of them in here. They started with 12. And there are only two left? Only two of them survived. They went off on some dumbass challenge of a cave with snakes or vipers or something stupid like that. They were looking for some kind of arc. Huh. You know where they went to from here? Uh, I'd like to talk to them, get the whole story. Uh, the Valley Madison t uh, Inn is where they're staying. How okay. long ago did they leave here? Uh, yesterday. Oh, boy. They could be anywhere. Yeah, it could be. They're everywhere okay. and nowhere. Well, I'd say, well, well thank you. Uh, he gets done with Send a Rock Nugget, steps up. Still eyeballing uh, Ralph. See you later, Ralph. And walks out the door. Barber smacks the chair. Leon, you can get in for a trim. I'll get in for a trim. Okay. About an hour goes by. Gornak, Barnum, and Beelzebub, you find the stables because you've been here before. This is where the caravan master leaves them. Uh, what do you want to see? You're talking to Miles O'Keefe. Miles, my good man. I am here and look and search for Wonderful mounts, and I heard your mounts are the best there is around. Cut the crap, Barnum. I heard you uh, quit the caravan trade. What do you want? <laughs> I need mounts. God damn. I'm trying to work on my craft. How many? How many do you want? Well, I need one, two, three for normal esque people, except for a dwarf. He's kind of big. And then you I aren't still hanging with that Ralph guy, are you? Yeah. Well, Matilda's pissed. He needs to watch himself. She's really mad. Apparently, uh, she caught him cheating or something. I don't know. Oh, she, well, she didn't know all mad. the rest of the stuff. Cheating is the little least of their, her worries. Whew. She needs to see the apothecary, let me tell you. <laughs> she's going to turn it around and she's going to be right behind you. <laughs> let me stir that pot a little. Fair enough. Uh, uh, then I, I'm going to give the description of uh, the Lionel brothers over here. Leon and Gornak, you're yep, with them I need, too. I know. I and he, he can see Gornak right there, but he doesn't care. <laughs> so I need two mounts that they would handle them, and I'm looking for three more mounts. I got burrows, but I don't have any giant goats. I, I don't know about Gornak and Leon, but I think that's the only thing that'll handle them. Unless he can catch some lizards. Is our is this trail into the mountain, Gornak? Is it or into this cave? Is it? Uh, is it a? Is there a path to it, or is it just? Uh, For sure, path. Yeah. There was yeah. a path, path to it. There was no path. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a path. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe yes, no. I think probably not. I'm gonna make a wisdom roll. To see if I can tell. I'm going to try and decipher my stupid. We're all 17. I'm pretty sure I think you're full of shit and don't know what you're talking about anymore. Mm, okay. You've deciphered, you've deciphered my stupidity correctly. Well, yeah, because I want to know whether or not. You've answered my riddle of three. Whether I can do a wagon or are we just going to have to do a. Oh, wagon. It, come on. Come on. Yeah, up in the you mountain setting. Wagon ain't gonna work? What are you thinking? And, uh, and something else. I'm not need... looking for one. Well, I guess they're just going to have to walk. We can take the burrow. We can, I guess we'll just have to walk this path. We'll need burrows to haul equipment. Uh, oh, my God. I got. Huh. I only got one burrow for you, my friend. You got, you got zonkies? Got... Zonkies? 
Ah, uh, what the hell is a zonkey? Who's got money for zonkeys? That's one some, burrow, that's, one mount. That's, that's all you got here is one mount. What are all these mounts? Uh, these mounts are for the caravan. You know that. Did you take a shot to the head? What if uh, a little gold fell out of my pocket and a couple of those mounts happened to run out the stall? No, uh, no, 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 no. This new management, isn't that why you left? you damn right it is. Management's horrible. Yeah. What do you think they'd do? They'd shut me down. Oh, no, they wouldn't. You could say there was tabaxi and thieves that broke in and stole it. What the hell's a tabaxi? It's cat people. We met them on the trail a while back. There, there ain't no thing as cat people. How much have you been drinking? You need a to lot. stay away from that Ralph guy. I think you might have gotten what he has. Did he catch you in the inn one night? Jesus, you need to see a cleric. <laughs> I am a cleric. I already took care of that problem. It was a long time ago on the trail. You have a comb? I could use a comb. <laughs> well, I got a comb. It's used, though. Uh, I'll pass. Uh, yeah, he doesn't know what tenaxes are. He doesn't know what zonkeys are. You're in the wrong neck of the woods. Those creatures are fictitious and mythical. What? Not, not like they're yawn tea. So, all right. Well, I, I'm going to get one burrow. How much for the one burrow? Ooh, this is the best burrow I got. It's going to be 400 gold pieces. That ain't, that ain't a 400 gold piece burrow. Come this on. Is a, this is a strong I've been on the trail. Find. I've been on the wet wagon train. I know a 400 piece burrow if I've ever seen one. That is not a 400 piece burrow. Ralph That's may know like what a 400 a piece, piece burrow piece. is. <laughs> 50? You're killing me here. Persuade me. Uh, if if it was any less of a burrow, it would be a chuck wagon stew. Nice. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna rock that up. Twelve. Huh. Eighty. All right, I'll pay eighty. There you go. I bought a burrow. Let me add it to my notes. You want to write it? Write it. Somebody keep track of it. You didn't have to type all that. You could just said burrow. I don't care. I don't okay, go it. ahead. Finish. I so you got your burrow, Uno. <laughs> Uh, Ralph has his hands full with problems. Uh, I got a new haircut. Uh, you know what? Uh, roll a d20. Let's see uh, how he performed. Oh, Leon. Yep. 18. Uh, Ralph. Yeah, Ralph says it looks good from the back. So, yeah, it looks, looks good for you. Maybe he added a little Cruella de Vil streak in it. Hey, I don't care. But yeah, Just it looks make, good. Make me look tougher. Yeah. You look charming. You look uh, presentable now. Uh, after an hour, you got you two will leave the barbershop. These three will leave town. Uh, both groups roll a one of you from each roll a d12, please. Alex, you want to roll a die 12? Oh, I roll. Yeah, sure, I can, I can roll. roll a die. Go yeah. ahead, roll that bad boy. Yeah. Seven. Hey, Jesus, you're doing awesome. Four. Uh, Ralph, Leon, as you leave the barber shop, uh, you notice a familiar group of people wearing black robes walking oh, those, directly towards you. Those minions. Those. My... You, Leon, uh, okay. you you will notice that the female kind of sub shifts uh, the smart ass Sig, Siegfried uh, away from you, but he just kind of locks in on your eyes. Yeah, I'm just gonna smile at him. Fair enough. They go into the barber shop. Uh, you guys continue to walk towards the center of town. Uh, Barnum, Beelzebub, and Gornak. 
uh, you see a familiar squat gnome crying along the side of one of the buildings. Oh, man. Ralph got her knocked up. Uh, one of you roll uh, initiative against me, please. Roll this. I will. Well, Hello. don't kill her. I want to make up with her. 18 plus 2, dirty 20. Oh. I can't do good to that gamma. You suck, Sophia. I know. She rolled a 3. Very good. Uh, I did better than that. You guys start to head over to Matilda, and you notice a dwarf approaching her quickly, and he puts his arm around her to comfort her. This dwarf is not Ralph. Oh, that bastard. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Matilda. Do you three want to continue to approach? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, the tears um, washed oh away the dirt. <laughs> uh, and she seems very distraught. Uh, the dwarf looks at uh, D6. One, two, three, four, five. Barnum and says, you know this is Ralph's fault. He is a no good, dirty, cheating SOB, and none of us like him. Okay. Apparently, everybody knows this. Then why did she date him? Don't come bringing this shit in my plate. You just tell Ralph he needs to watch his back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's one of my party members. Are you threatening? I'm threatening. Are you threatening? I'm threatening. Are you threatening? I'm threatening. <laughs> did he not hear what I just asked? Go ahead and roll our can of check. Oh, that's you. I don't want to roll on yours. Yours is cursed already. <laughs> you roll worse than your brother. Uh, no, I roll. No, no, no one rolls worse than him. No. She rolls know. threes and twos on 20 sided dice. Oh. 14. Uh, this guy's middle management. Uh, he was one of the ones retained by Garnet Inc. His name is Hendrix. Hendrix, huh? Hendrix. Henry. Buddy, I bet you just better watch yourself. Hey, how's that unemployment working out for you, Barnum? Oh, well, better than what you're doing. You know, if I wanted to, if I wanted to bound, bend over and take it from the man, I guess I would be you. I just got a little bit more self-respect than a you dwarf. Hey, what you. are you, hill dwarf? Uh, he is a hill dwarf. Ah, <laughs> good. Uh, well, then I'll just be like, maybe if you're a real dwarf, mountain dwarf. <laughs> Which one was Miles O'Keefe again? Miles O'Keefe. Yeah, he was somebody I just used. Yeah, I'll I'll watch it again. I remember. <laughs> Uh, he, uh, Hendrix, uh, continues to hold his arm around Matilda and they walk down the street. You guys would be well aware that, uh, that's probably where her house is. Uh, he shoots an angry glance back at you and he says, you tell Rolf I'm coming and hell's coming with me. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I'm going to give guys, a space ball salute. You, you guys are... Really hitting it off big in Faust. <laughs> hey, we make friends no matter which game we're in. I was about to say, man, no matter where we go, we're hated when we leave. <laughs> uh, after a few minutes, if you guys didn't have a real plan, uh, you uh, casually spot each other across from the town square uh, okay. where you meet. Now, unlike a lot of places in this region, Faust has what they call a bell tower and something called a clock. Uh, it's a rather gnomish invention, uh, mm. but it allows them to tell time. It is high noon, and just as you guys start to interact with each other, gong! <laughs> and I'm gonna a, after tell the tell the, strike, you yeah. guys can hear each other again. I'm going to tell the rest of the party that we're going headed to the end to see if those two <laughs> remaining cave explorers are still there. The rest of their party of 12 didn't make it out of the cave. Now, I'm going to explain to them, well, this is our mount, this one burrow. 
So I, well, I'm just well, going to laugh. I don't, I I'm didn't burned. expect them out. Yeah. Well, I expect the pack mule is what I got. Jeez, I hope you didn't pay more than 50 gold for this. Girl. <laughs> this thing's a nag. Oh, it's broken down. The radio's all busted up. Hey, hey you know what, Ralph? I paid a little more than I probably should have, but I figured it can carry our supplies uh, there. If we're uh, lucky, uh, it can carry back. If it dies along the way, we eat like kings. Well, I would say 50 gold. That's 49 more gold than you paid for that gnome, Ralph. Oh, and Ralph, uh, take that back. You don't talk about her this way. I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh and head to the end. Hey, hey, Ralph, don't you worry. Uh, what was his name? Hendrix? Yeah, Henry. Hendrix. 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 Yeah, he's taking care of her right now. And he said, Where, Where were they? Point, point me in the he, direction. He's coming for you, and hell's coming with him. Oh, I'm coming for him. How dare he touch my girl? Well, your girl. Here, nobody should be touching your girl after you. <laughs> well, well, that's not, not without a probe. <laughs> not unless they want to go to see cleric with the good payment plan. I think I got to go kick Hendrick's ass. Uh, I think we need to get started on All this. Right. I got to go get some supplies. I'm going to get some caves. Uh, you know, All right. I'm, I'm going to head to the end. Who's going to the end? Who's getting supplies? I'm getting supplies. Gornak, come on. Yeah. You go yeah. with me. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going with you. I am. I'm going with Leon. I think Gornak I'm going with Leon, going too. Leon. Okay, so we flipped it three and two the other way. Uh, Barnum and Beelzebub, what kind of supplies do you want to get? <clears throat> I want to get some uh, some rope. Some uh, uh, What are those things called? Uh, spikes. Titans. Pittons. 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 Sure. You know, pittance, rope. Sure. I can't yeah. see in the dark. So. Food. We'll get rations for five for a week. Sure. So your and basic equipment model. Essentially. Yeah, pretty much basic dungeon pack. Uh, they'll give you. Uh, they'll give you a deal on it. Fifty gold pieces for all five. All right. Uh, that'll give you ten pittance. Uh, I'm going to cut the rope down to uh, 250 feet. Uh, you can get some oil lamps if you want, or candles, your choice. We'll get the lamps. Uh, Leon, Rolf, and Gornak, you are headed to the Dolly Madison Inn. Yes. Big roll here. Roll it. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Beelzebub, as you stand by as Barnum wheels and deals, you feel a shove in your back. As you turn around, it is a large individual, ogreish features. This thing stands about seven foot tall, big sausage fingers, a real brute, and it has a body odor uh, that's causing you some great consternation. <laughs> and it pokes you in the chest and demands to know where his brother's money is. Give me an arcana check, Beelzebub. Not too many Azimars. You're going to be targeted frequently. Arcana. That's the best roll you've had. Nine. <laughs> Let her roll uh, dice, man. Give her some dice to roll. This, yeah, uh, your brother, get your dice. You don't, you don't really yeah. recognize this individual, other than he's an ugly clod uh, that smells bad. Uh, Barnum, uh, you hear the commotion. You give me an Arcana check. Frankie's bringing your dice to you because he's a good brother. No, he's not. He's an okay brother. All right, seventeen. Yeah, you know this guy from the caravan trail. Uh, he, he was an add-on with your group, uh, and there is some disagreement about you guys owing him a share of the fee that you uh, uh, took down when you guys made fourth level. You guys had uh, dealt with some brigands, uh, and there's a little question about the monetary disbursement. Uh, Higstain, as he is known, and his brother... Pig stain, uh, feel that they got the short end of the stick and uh, they're trying to shake down Beelzebub right now. Huh. Whoa, 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 what, what, what's going on? What, why do you think you deserve more? 
We all got it. We all got even. He pokes you in the chest and he goes, Barnum, you know you owe us the money. You owe us. Cut that hand off. Cut that hand off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's adorned in hide armor. Well, you still haven't told me what you think you've done that you deserve more. You guys only took oh down God. three quarters, three quarters, almost half of those brigands. And my brother and I, we did the other half. So we did the other four quarters. Yeah, but. So you, you owe under- us. Oh, well, and I paid you for four quarters worth. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. My brother's smarter than me at math. He knows you screwed me over. Yeah, well, he's cheating you. He said you owe us seven gold pieces. I gave you seven gold pieces. My brother says no. You want me to go get him? You're right. I cheated you out. Let me give you the rest of the gold I owe you. Here, this is worth the rest of the gold I owe you. I gave him this one gold. Uh, D12 against me. No, Sophie, you cannot roll. I didn't Nine. ask. <laughs> ah, two. <laughs> no, he cursed you. No, no. That's, that's, that's not seven. Because there's one for each of my fingers. I know. You already got. That's one. I know. Out of the, I gave you the rest that I owed you. I already gave you three. No, that's not what my brother says. No, your brother's wrong. I gave no. him all. Well, you don't. Seven. You don't. No, you don't. You don't. Yes, I do. You don't. Yes, I do. You don't. I you do. Don't. And and uh, Higstein just knocks a whole bunch of supplies off the table and makes a clatter. And you can tell he's just <sighs> on the veins sticking out of his neck and out of his forehead, and he's mad. One of those veins. Go ahead. Cut one of those veins. I so want to, but... Remember, you're in town, boys and girls. <laughs> yeah, and? Just that doesn't make a difference. We'll burn it down. Yeah, we're going to burn it down when we leave anyway. Yeah. I've already decided. <laughs> There's too many gnomes here. It has to burn. Guys, stop burning my goddamn town. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we're done with your world, it'll be all hey, ash. Hey, hey, we'll tie some brush to my tail and I'll run through on four <laughs> legs roaring like I'm a wild beast to set fire yeah, to it. I, I see a nat 20 from an archer shooting you right in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what what are you gonna do? <laughs> H- Higstein's pretty pissed. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pet him on the arm. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Whoa. Whoa! You're getting way too excited. You, you know what? What? Let me. Do Do you have any wine? I'm looking for some wine. Do you? I. You sell like alcohol here. No, this is a mining supply company. Why oh, come on. Got any catnip? I do not have any catnip. Do you have any of the Maui? <laughs> that, that's, that's mythical as well. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Not what I hear. You got a whole new business here. You got a whole new entry point. I'm sorry. I'm not even in there. Just... I tell you what. Bitters. Get some, buy some bitters. I think mm. you need to talk with that's me. Poison. Why would you buy that? I'm pretty sure Leon and Ralph had what you were looking for. Ralph <laughs> is untrustworthy. I don't, I, know. I don't trust him. Did you see what he did to his girlfriend? Maybe. Did he hurt Matilda? No, but I heard Hendrix was slapping her around. He's at her house right now. Hendrix? Yes. He, he threatened me if I told anybody he'd kick my ass. I got a little frightened. I'm going to tell you. He looked pretty pissed. He was grabbing her by the neck and dragging her into her house. Give me persuasion. Come on, big one. number, big number. <laughs> big number. One, one, 18! One. <laughs> and that's with a negative one. 
that ain't right. And he's I know. around. The, the vein is still pumping away, and he goes storming out. I can't. Hey, wait a minute. If no, he, go, he has no. He, he is. He is. He is focused. He okay, is going. Good. good. He goes out. We are we on our Uh You arrive uh, in Madison Inn. Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, I'll go up to whoever's uh, clerk in the place and tell them who we're looking for. Oh, you mean Lefty and Cyclops? Yeah, Lefty and Cyclops. Do you know where they're at? Uh, they were in the common room, but I think they went next door to the uh, gambling hall. Okay. All right. Thank you. We'll head over to gambling hall then. Rolling the dice. Uh, He's setting you up, uh, uh, know Ralph. You know that, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That uh, gambling hall wasn't there a second ago. It's there now. It's sure there now. wasn't. We yeah. threatened to burn down his town, and now he's like, oh, this is <laughs> burn down this town. It could have been a brothel. Right. Uh, you know, it could have been. Either way, we were, we're, well, we were screwed either way. Yeah. Uh, you guys go in there, and this place is run by halflings. <laughs> No. Okay. So you don't even need an insight okay. check. You Let me just say, <laughs> just so you understand, I'm six foot eight. Uh huh. Yeah. So they're hitting me like what? The shin? Kneecap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to teabag everyone up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you wow. stand that straight? I don't know, Ken. That's a good question. It's a halfling. But is it built for normal people? Built for normal people. Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah, you're I'm still a... not normal, sir. I'm, I'm going to look around. On all fours. I'm going to look around and see somebody, if there's anybody in there that maybe is not a halfling to start with. There's a guy with a wide-brimmed hat. <laughs> it has two ostrich feathers in it. He's kind of swarthy, and his shirt is open up all the way down to his waist with just a <laughs> puff of chest hair. He carries a Christ long oh my. rapier. Uh, oh my God! Here we go belt. again. He uh, said, but, but I, you know, I hate that guy. It's the only reason you brought him into this <laughs> game. Well, no, this one's a human. Oh, a human, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, Is he clearly, part of the Spanish Inquisition? Clearly, this guy's a pirate. Mm -hmm. uh, and just as you guys enter, he throws the bones. Everybody around the table cheers, and he says, "Ah." It be Pirate Day, because, of course, it's the 19th of September, and it's National Talk Like a Pirate Day. That's oh, why wonderful. So, arr, the luck be with me, boys. I'll go up to the barkeep and uh, tell him, I order a, a, a brew and, and tell him what I'm in there, who I'm looking for. What are you, how do you describe them? Uh, a couple explorers that go by the name of Cyclops, and I don't remember what you said the other one was. Lefty? Uh, he begins to laugh. Uh, it hands you the ale. You can pay him, and he goes, I don't think that's how you should introduce yourself to him. And he points over into the corner. There you see two people, both humans, one is missing an arm. Oh, God. And the other has an eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start laughing and say, yeah, uh, I, can, I can see what you mean. <laughs> I, I don't think that's their moniker, my friend. I mean, you know, real careful. That is, uh, okay. they, they go by Frank and Joe. I think they're brothers. Frank and Joe. Okay. Uh, thank you. I'm going to pick up my ale. And head over to their table. Teabagging as you go. Yeah, just whatever I have to brush up against. Uh, Ralph and Gornak, what are you doing? Uh, Frankie, I, Frankie, look behind you. Yeah, oh. what the hell's going on with that dog? Yeah, Frank, oh, I, tell Mike I, to get I, his head out of that door. He walked away. Yeah, dumbass. I assumed I was following uh, Leon there. <clears throat> Are you also teabagging halflings? I, no, I'm a halfling. Uh, well, I'm rather short myself, so I assume that I'm Garnet above, is. above the teabag zone. The plane, I guess we would call it. You're right. pretty close to being your head in the teabag zone. <laughs> yeah. But I think I'm slightly above. You are with us. We're just rangy. So, so you're just following along, Gornak? Uh, are you going to hang out with Pirate Pete over there, or what are you doing? 
Gornak, you going with us or are you watching the dice rolling? The bones rolling? Um, I'll go with you guys. It seems more interesting okay. than the bone rolling. Uh, another right. cheer from the gambling table is heard. The man whips off his hat and waves it around. Oh. I can't be losing. It's me day. Oh, uh, Ralph heard that one. Uh, you guys go over into the corner. Uh, yep. These two individuals look clearly beaten, downtrodden, depressed. Uh, they have three coins on the table. Uh, and give me an insight check. All three of you. Mm, insight. Uh, eight, 18. 17. That is a dirty 20. From the looks of them, all you all three surmise that that's probably the last of their money. They're gaunt. They've suffered significant injury, lost a lot of blood, lost body parts. Uh, clearly, life has been very, very bad to them. I'm going to introduce myself and my party here, the group, and ask them if it's all right if we sit down and talk to them a bit. We aren't looking for jobs if that's what you're trying to sell. I'm not hiring. But I would like to hear about your adventure. Well, I'm Frank. This is Joe. We're the Hardy Boys. Uh, we just came back from the mountains. <laughs> you don't look too hardy. <laughs> Well, we, we didn't have much fortune. We did, however, make it out uh, with our skins, uh, not so much for our friends. What happened? We had heard rumor of this cave uh, in the mountains to the west, and uh, there were 12 of us when we started. We thought we had uh, more than enough meat to handle the situation. Uh, we ended up dealing with poo-flinging monkeys in the mountains uh, and some uh, giant giant rams and uh, then we found the cave and things just went downhill from there there was all sorts of not dead stuff and big snakes and how big how big is a big snake to you snakes for the head. this big Pro probably a head taller than you my friend because we had uh, you know we had uh, what they called the boas back where I come from, you know, they got, they got pretty big around 20, 30 feet. But you go what? Six, seven feet. Uh, just, just not quite seven foot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the last thing we saw before we ran out was a snake, probably head or two taller than you. Uh, we waited outside cause you know, we're loyal, but, uh, our, our, our friends never came out. And that's a mystery. Mm. So you didn't see what happened to them? Well, we kind of heard their screaming. Mm. The haunting okay. screaming. I'm going to pull out my map of the area and I'll say, can you show me where that cave is at? Uh, which one are you asking to point it out? I'm just asking in general, either one of them. Uh, Odd Frank, even Joe. Uh, even Joe. Uh, as you put the map out, he's like, are you kidding me? No. We won't. As, we, as, as, as you move it out, you move it towards his missing arm side. <laughs> nice. Well, I'll hold up an invisible pen and say, hey, you want to mark that for me? No, nah, not really. He takes his other hand, boom, pops it right on the map. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate it. I'm going to pull uh, five gold out and tell him, I said, it looks like you guys could use a little hand up really? and plop it down <laughs> on the table. You say that to Joe again? No, I said that to, you know. Frank. Frank. You didn't want to add, I got my eye on you. No, no, I've, I'm trying not to do any of that. Now stop it. I, I just wasn't sure if you were being myopic about it or not. Nah. So. <laughs> you know how it is. One hand washes the other. Not for Joe. 
Uh, okay, you got your information. Uh, yep. Barnum and Beelzebub, you have escaped the half-orc brother uh, of two. However, clearly, eh, you don't have a lot of friends in this city. Uh, you head off. You know these guys were trying to find the adventurers. Uh, you know they were going to the Dolly Madison Inn. Where would you like to go? Because, again, you guys just said, well, we're going this way, and you didn't make any plans. We'll see if I can find them at the Dalai Lama special. Uh, D12 against me, then. 11. It goes to 11. Is that one louder? No, it just goes to 11. Eight. Uh, you see an armed group of gnomes brandishing clubs. Give me, uh, you and Beelzebub, give me Arcana. Oh, yeah, I rolled it for you. Thank you. Or uh, I rolled mine. I rolled an 11. And Beelzebub rolls a five. Man, it's just your curse. Wow. <laughs> uh, Barnum, you notice a striking similarity in appearance of these guys wielding clubs. Uh, you think they've got a little rock nugget in them. Ah, oh, Jesus, I am not ready for this shit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to slip down a back alley for right now. Try to see if I can evade. Oh, sure. Give me stealth. Dragging, dragging her and the mule with me. Sure. I'll take stealth. <laughs> stealth. Oh man, if it wasn't for that disadvantage check, you would have naturally rolled a 21, 20. Instead, she rolled a 10. A 10. Or no, 11. An 11. Okay. Uh, you guys managed to go around the corner. They clearly are not interested in you, and they kind of go off in a huff. Uh, I rolled a 14. Odd, they're going towards the end, even they're going elsewhere. Looks like they're headed to the Dolly Madison Inn. That's well, a good thing we're not there. Back in the gambling uh, casino, again, the pirate dude, <laughs> he is on a burner, man. He cannot lose. Yeah, uh, I don't think Ralph can uh, cannot not look away. He's going to go up to the table and investigate. Fortunately for you, just as you do, he orders a round of drinks for him and his new friends. Oh, that's mighty neighborly of him. He, well, he's on a heater, man. He's, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he, he's, he's everybody's friend at this point in time. Uh, so he sits there. The uh, gambling guy hands him over three dice, and he goes, another roll, sir? You haven't lost yet. Uh, a young lady hanging off his shoulder says, oh, you need to do this one for me. I'll even blow on the dice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ralph's gonna put ten coin, ten gold coins down on the, on the win. Sure. Uh, the pirate slaps back his drink, wipes it off with the back of his hand, uh, looks over at her, gives her a quick kiss, holds up the dice. She blows on him. Uh, Ralph, since you got money on it, you're gonna be the house. So roll three d six. Nine. Ten. House wins. Everybody Ten. groans. <laughs> uh, the pirate guy had most of his winnings on the table, and the half wing just kind of breaks it in. Sorry, you lose. <laughs> Along with your five gold pieces, Ralph. Uh, the cute Ten lady... Gold pieces. Gone. Uh, the pirate stands there. Uh, give me an insight check. Uh, 21. He had it all bet on that roll. 
Did the drinks arrive yet? Because I think if they have, I don't know. They, they arrived right before he threw. Uh, oh, perfect. Uh, I'm going to try to channel my inner rogue and slip into the shadows before he puts together that I might be bad luck and gets pissed at me. He's actually more focused on the dealer, and he is not happy. And he accuses them of cheating loudly and determined. Uh, the crowd kind of gives way. A handful of halflings come over, including what looks to be a managerial type. And an argument ensues. Very loud, very angry. And the pirate is clearly in the belief that the dice were loaded. So, mm-hmm. Leon, you and Gornak are also still here. What are you doing? I'm going to tell uh, Ralph, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go find the rest of the party, Ralph. I'm not kind of thinking of my head to the end. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's time to get out of here. This big orange clown looks like he's about to storm the state house or something. So, let's get the hell out of here. He's going to want to recount. Don't worry, in eight months, he'll have a handful of fans there. Ah, yes. Uh, as you guys leave, give me perception check, all three of you. Natural 20. 14. Uh, 18. Gornak, Leon, you see a group of gnomes heading into the Dolly Madison Inn. Ralph, hey, there's Barnum and Beelzebub. Hi. All right, we'll head over to where they're at then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys meet right in the middle of the little plaza. Uh, you can see that uh, Barnum has found a pack mule and it has a considerable amount of supplies on it. Hey, That's good. The cost is 26 gold a piece. All right. Nope. Um, that covers all your, that covers any. Dungeon supplies needed going through the cave, the feed, and it helps uh, take care of this thing. All right. Dog food. 26 gold apiece. The price tag here says 10. Everything together is 26 gold apiece. Everything? Okay. If you say so. You're damn right I say so. That's how much I'm short now. Okay. That's I didn't even chip. I didn't even do a special like my dad would do and chip make chip in a few extra gold for myself. Yeah, that's what I thought you were doing. Because I recall it was like fifty gold, uh, but you know. Anyway, hey, I close an estate. I get a percentage, buddy. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, uh, Ralph, uh, yeah. I sent I sent an ogre over to take care of Hendrix, but when, Hendrix went, but when he finds out after pounding on him that he really didn't do anything, he might come after us to kick our ass because him and his brother say we didn't pay him. So that's not good. I sorted him some gold. I sorted him seven gold. So I gave him one and told him that was a makeup. But, uh, oh, also, Ralph, uh, there's a group of gnomes all coming after you, a mob. Hey. <laughs> uh, I didn't I do. sleep with her. You Barnum, did. as you tell him this, just over his shoulder, the group of gnomes that just walked into the Dolly Madison just walked out. It's time to go. <laughs> Ralph, you notice over the shoulder of Barnum are two half ogres that look quite similar. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's time to go. Yeah, uh, I'm going to leave. Hang on. I'm not done. One, two, three, four, five, six, four. Beelzebub, you notice a quartet of sorcerers headed this way. <laughs> wow. Well, are you trying to kill us early? I feel like you are. So it's, you guys are getting caught in a triple pincer move here. So there, but there is like, so one's coming from one end of the street, the other one's coming from the other end of the street, and up this way is another group of sorcerers. They're all trying to kill. All right. Is all there roads us. back this way then? There sure is. However, bells are ringing. We got to go. We got to go. Why the hell are the bells ringing? Town guards. To God, that's why. 
come in from all avenues and head right into the gambling house where a stream of black smoke is emanating from the roof. <laughs> this is our distraction. You gotta make this a move, boys. Look, that place is on fire. Everybody like, perception be? check. <laughs> How am I rolling so good? I think I I think I got my rolls back finally. 18 for myself. Six. Perception was that? 14 <laughs> for Beelzebub. 21, 21, baby. 21. <clears throat> what was Beelzebub's? 14. Uh, I'll assume Leon has a decent role as well. Uh, you guys all noticed that the gnomes are adverse to the town guard. Uh, closing in from every direction, they are going to pass. Uh, the sorcerers also say uh, no bueno, and they kind of dip into the shadows. Uh, pig skin and, or pig stain and hick stain are stupid, and they are headed right for you, and they are pointing their grubby sausage fingers, yelling at you that you are cheaters. Roll initiative. Uh, Leon, my my brother says you're a liar. Seven. Fifteen. Barnum rolls a 19. Beelzebub oh my God. rolls a three. Changing dice for this one. Hey. I'm rolling like shit. Let's see what Leon rolls. I took Frankie's curse. Leon rolled an eight. He might want to roll his own. <clears throat> 19, uh, Barnum. Clearly, the Stain brothers are not having it. They are pretty sure that you cheated them, and they want their money. Uh, pig Stain, or, uh, yeah, Pig Stain, the smarter of the two, uh, is really upset. He is going to brandish his battle axe with both hands, and he is going to focus his rage on the cheating bastard known as uh, Barnum. Eight. <laughs> My brother says you're a liar. What up? Did you not pick any spells? You picked no spells. With her rolls, does it really matter? <laughs> She's going to be the first casualty. <laughs> so... Uh, pig stain is going to go after or focus on Barnum. Pig stain is going to focus on Beelzebub, <laughs> standing right next to Barnum. Are are we faced off with all the? I'm sorry, I was gone for a minute. Uh, yeah, uh, Frank rolled for you. You are an eight on the initiative. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the other groups have decided with the town guards coming in. Screw that. We'll live to fight another day. Uh, the Stain brothers are uh, not smart enough to notice this, and they're going to confront you. They are coming up from behind uh, Barnum and Beelzebub. You guys have all turned to face them, and they are pissed because my brother says you are a liar. Uh, one is going after Barnum. The other is going after Beelzebub. Each yeah. has a battle axe. Each is using it to hand it. Uh, I have initiative as 19, Barnum, 15, Gornak, 9, the brothers, 8, uh, you, 7 is Ralph, and 3, queen of the rolls is Beelzebub, if she lives. <laughs> Anymore. I'm not going to okay. be okay by the end. <laughs> They're going to be okay by the end of this. All right. So, you know. Sorry. I just knocked out a bunch of spells for it. Sure. So, Any of them going to be useful? They're all a lot of attack spells. So. Yeah. All right. Who's up? Sorry. You. I'm up. Yep. 19. All right. Uh, Amazing hard. how he rolls good for him, but when he rolls for everybody else, it's crap. Hey, yeah, right here. She's seen it. Uh, how far are they away from me? Uh, they are in melee distance and closing, so I could touch them. Yeah, you, you can touch them lovingly. All right, casting spell. 
Roll to 24 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Which one are you going after? The one going after you? The smart one. Get a dog. That's it. That sucks. 14 points to hit. Or 14 points of damage. That's not bad on pig. Uh, 15, Gornak, who went MIA while I was talking. You know, there's rumors going around about a about a dragon born with a big scar that's about as smart as these brothers. All right. And, and rolls like his sister. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely. We're waiting on you, dumbass. Hey, language. See you with your chips later. Fine. Maybe I will. Welcome to the Welcome to our house. So I'm going to hit him with my battle. Or no. Am I in touching range? Am I in touchy touchy range? You are in touchy touchy range. Are you going after Pig or Hig? Whichever one's closer. Or are they both like walking next to each other? Pig is on uh, Beelzebub. Pig is on Barnum. Someone's on Oh, hell, Bezel. And so who is on Bezel? Uh, Hig. All right, I'll hit him with a battle axe or a great axe. Sorry, great axe. Let's do that. Yeah. I didn't hit him, I don't think. Uh, that's a seven plus five. Uh, let's say 12. 12. 12. I know. No, figure that out. Swing and a miss. Uh, nine. The brothers look at each other, yell out, bash them, and uh, they're going after them. So you're dealing with the Bash Brothers for all you Mighty Duck fans out there. Uh, Barnum, that's five, so I won't even bother with the math. Beelzebub, prepare to die. Yeah. Uh, that's a 12 plus five, 17. On me? On her. On her. Oh, Beelzebub? I'm, I'm probably dead. She, nope, miss. Really? Okay. She's an 18. Nice. Uh, two misses, eight. Uh, Leon. I don't know. Hey! Anybody close to me? Doesn't matter. I'm jumping on somebody. I'm attacking. I, I, I jump on Ralph if I were you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is all his fault. Okay. Right now I'm, I'll attack whichever one's closest. Uh, odd Hig, even Pig. Hig with a one. Hig, Hig, coming after Hig. That's a 19 plus 726. That gets him. Oh, my God. Die eight plus seven. Plus five. That's 12. Nice. Seven, Ralph. All right. I'm going to attack whoever is closest to me. Odd even. Right. Another one. Everybody's ganging up to save Beelzebub for some reason. My great axe. 21. For axe. 11 points of damage. Beelzebub, you're up. All right. That means it's their turn to cast a spell at something. Or miss. I'm going to yell at your brother because he's a moron making noise again. I'm going to go smack him again. All right. How about you do a nice little witch's bolt? All right. She's going to witch bolt. It's a spell. That's what you do. You cast spells. I spell. Wait. I assume on Hig because yes. he's the one going after. Okay. Uh, we'll do an Eldritch Blast. It's a cantrip. Oh, it won't hey, I can do that too. Congratulations. Right. So you roll that. Okay. That's your hit. You rolled a 13 to hit. 13 does hit. All right. Now you got to roll your damage. Wait, what is that? Do I press it? Just click on that. Wait, 13 hit? Nope. And I missed with a 12. Oh, great. It's four. They're, they're wearing hide armor. You rolled 10. Max damage. Frankie, you rolled a 12, but did you have a, a plus to hit? Yeah, on no, your I rolled... I rolled, a, you rolled, like uh, I rolled an eight. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Never, never mind. My bad. Excuse me. Uh, Don't expect that I have good rolls. 
Top of the order, Barnum. Death. Death. Come back here. Let noisy dogs out, prancing dogs oh, in. Barnum. It's a freaking zoo over here. That's the circus. <laughs> Hey, All right. I am going to cast my next spell, which is uh, oh, Toll of the Dead. And they have damage on them. So we'll do, do our both, first. Both are injured. Yep. So that's five points of necro damage. Oh, wait. Oh, I got to roll die 12. I'm sorry. Die 12 roll. So it is 11 points of damp necro damage. One or both. <coughs> What's that? One or both. On the same one I was hitting last time. Gotcha. Uh, Higgy or whatever it was. I don't remember. You, you got Piggy. The others have Higgy. Uh, 15, Gornak. Gornak the Mighty. Uh, what will I do? Oh, here. Look at your spell. <laughs> I guess I'll hit him again with my big old <coughs> great axe. So you cash this one. Right. See if I can hit him. Sure. That's an eight. And plus my five equals 13. I finally hit him. You hit? Yep, I hit. And then I roll my damage. Seven. <laughs> Whoa. He is knock, knock, knocking on death's door. But he's alive for this one. I have Leon, Gornak, and Ralph. All of you guys are attacking Beelzebub's, correct? So mm -hmm. uh, with his dying breath, Khan goes after three. One, two, Beelzebub. <laughs> <laughs> Dice giveth, dice taketh away. Higgy on Beelzebub. Six plus five. That's a no. On uh, Barnum. That's a 17 plus five. That is going to connect. I assume. I hope. Uh, insignificant damage, seven. Oh, uh, sorry. I rolled the wrong dice because they're using it two-handed. What'd you roll? I have an 18. Uh, yeah. Okay. My rolls finally came back. I'm only rolling on our 10 now. Uh, 10 plus 3, 13 damage as he slices you open. Like Can we go back to the other damage? What other damage? I don't know. The one you rolled with the bad, that wrong Yeah, guy. You know, damage stayed is damage played. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> had, hadn't moved past the turn. Uh, uh, Leon. Uh, you see Barnum get opened up nicely. All right. Who's on Barnum? Uh, Sig? Uh, Pig. Pig. Pig and Hig. Um, and Hig's the one that's pretty much almost down, right? Yeah, and he's uh, got Ralph, Gornak, and the Elzebub. I'm going after Pig. <clears throat> sure, go ahead. That's 18 and 7, 25. Easily. Come on, baby. Big nut, big nut. Big nut. <laughs> Ooh, eight plus five is 13 damage. Nice. Uh, Rolf. Let's finish that guy off. Or roll a one. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. That was critical. It, he is going down. Oh, baby. Damage, damage modifier. I need to be sitting down for this one. 22 plus 3, 25 damage. On somebody with two points left. In the what words of the Queen of Hearts, off with his head, and it goes rolling across the cobblestone, much to the chagrin of the citizenry watching this unfold. Take off his head and just be like, ah. We might have to call a pause while Alex go takes a cold shower. That's right. Yeah, uh, you know, Felix doesn't fight that way. Felix is like, Clinking arrows off in the distance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Beelzebub, your opponent has just lost his head and slumps to the ground, splashing your boots uh, with the neck juices. Mm, neck juice. Neck juice. 
his beard is power. His blood is powered by testosterone and protein powder. Wow. Uh, you guys are muted. Barn up. Right. I've been yeah. I'm trying to educate her on her character a little bit more. Hey, who, that's who, fine. Who She's up first. Oh, you're up. Uh, what? So, what well, you're in reach. You can cast a spell, which I suggest you probably do if I can get my mouse back over there. She will not be in touch range of yours. Uh, her boots are getting covered in the blood and gore from her opponent that Ralph has just decapitated. Nice, squishy, splashy. Thank you. Thank you. I would just probably oh. cast again either this or this to whatever, uh, whoever's left. Pig. Hit first. Okay. Ralph, a trio of South Americans yes. come right out and begin to kick Pig's head around. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I like Roll that. Tonight. Is Piggy still up working? Yeah, Piggy's working. Yeah. She's attacking Piggy with a firebolt. Sure. Okay. 19 to hit. Thank God. And then roll the next. Yep. I can just see her fumbling that one. <coughs> and then seven points of damage. And he falls. Ah, you dropped him, so. Pig and Hig are no more. Hig's skull is being kicked around by South American footballers. <laughs> I'll reach down and five-finger Pig's gold purse. Everybody go ahead and roll a straight up D20. I want to know who is the highest. 17. Well, three for you, so. 18. Oh, yeah. There's that damn bell again. Nope. Frankie's highest. I rolled a five. She rolled a three. Oh, Does the highest going to get Frankie. hit by a fireball? Yeah. Damn clock. You need to mute when your clock's going off. How am I supposed to know? Gordon, you uh you see Hendrix, a cadre of guards, and two town council members, one of them being a gnome. Mm -hmm. Headed your way. I am going to signal to Leon that we should go. And I'm going to whisper to Ralph that he should be prepared for something, anything. Just get ready. I, I'll turn around and I'll turn and, around and tell. And then Barnum, I'll walk away. I'm gonna turn around and tell Barnum, hey, point back over my shoulder and say, "We need to get out of here now." That's what I've been trying to do. As you guys turn around, you notice that the fire has been quenched in the gambling hall. The pirate is in chains. And all of those guards that went there are behind you. Ah. You are surrounded. Everybody Man, give me I, uh, I thought there was an alley here. There was. <laughs> That's where Hendrix is coming from. I got an 18. Okay, where is the place with the least amount of people? You are surrounded. I know, but like surrounded, but I mean like the streets. Is it like a circle, or is it like all the it's, streets are blocked off? It's two parentheses, and you guys are caught in the middle. Uh, Hendrix orders you, drop your weapons, fight's over. Oh, I'm going to look at Hendrix and say, uh, you're not in charge here, and we don't work for you anymore. Authority, the town council. I am in charge of security. I, again, repeat, drop your weapons before the men have to do what they have to do. A quick look around will tell you eh, most of the city watches here. It's not going to be pretty. Been here for two hours. And, and I'm gonna, and going to going to jail. I'm going to look at Gor <laughs> Gornak and say, we can kill Hendrix and about a dozen of them before they take us down. Yeah. Of course. Uh the operative word is before they take you down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hey, Hendrix, Hendrix is quite... I'm sorry, you're, we're barbarians. We give a shit. Hendrix is quite calm about it. He goes, you were about to be expelled. Drop your weapons. Expelled from what? This town. Uh, you know what? Just leave. No, let's just Open leave up. Now. Give us a pathway. We'll walk right out of town right now. 
You but I'm not giving up weapons, up. and we will throw them over the not wall. Not giving up my weapons. Oh hell no! I ain't giving up my weapons. No. You can open a pathway. We've been trying to get out of this town for an I, hour. I'm gonna start walking in the direction of the gate. Now I don't know who's in front of me, but that's what I'm gonna do. Four sorcerers are in front of you. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna. One of, one of them has a giant smile on their face. Uh, the lady goes. It would be best if you dropped your weapons. I will personally vouch for your safety. And our weapons will be returned. It would be best if you stop. I'm going to stop and turn to Gornak. Easy, Darius. So and I'm going to say, what do you think? She wouldn't. I, she... Don't, I don't think we should surrender our weapons. I think that'd be a bad idea. What I think we should do is I think we should comply with them. To the point that we can still have our weapons. And I'm going to whisper to Gornak, oh, we're giving up the axes. We carry our weapons in our bodies. <laughs> right. I'm going to eat the axe real quick. No. <laughs> I know. What you I'm talking about claws. that. We got claws and bites, and, and in my case, a prehensile tail. <laughs> the uh, smiling <laughs> sorcerer <laughs> has lightning weaving in and out like the cat's cradle in his hand. He's Don't ready. Care. She, Looks like a challenge. She, is this the same woman that bought us all around a beer? I, it I, is. I'm going to take my axe, my battle axe, by the head and stick it half forward to her. Hand it to her. She will reach out and take... You know what? She's not even going to reach out. She's going to cast Mage Hand and bring it to her. That's fine. Cool. I will not even touch it. it I'm going to tell Gornak to do the same thing. All right. I'm having she seems trustable. She probably won't steal our stuff. Okay, uh, both no, both no battle matter. axes are surrendered. What about axes? The we other can get three? anywhere. I have right. plate mail, so I, what I'm going to do is my. Okay, um, now there's no I have, battle axes floating in the air. Yep. How small is a short bow? How like small is? It? Oh, I've got a long bow too. You want that too? Is it like just don't pretty... reach for your quiver and you'll be fine? All right. Hey, all I gotta say is, you know, if these don't get returned, I heard of a band of people that are more than willing to come and burn down a town. <laughs> is that that um, one that's got that that real dumb dragon boy yeah. running around? Yeah. With? I heard yeah. about him. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna kill you when we get back to the other game. I'm, we're coming straight here. Got a big scar up here that keeps going into place saying, say, oh, how about I that? gave up my axe. Why well, do you like my little and, friend? Uh, Beelzebub. She gave up hers. I will reluctantly give, give it up. Axe. Okay. I don't want to get killed. Yeah, Hendrix good. comes up rather smugly. And comes close to you, Barnum. Smug look on his face. I always knew you were a problem, and I always knew I'd solve that problem. Authority of the city of Faust, the fathers have determined that your ilk are no longer welcome here. Vacate the premises or face the trials of the guards. I'm going to look at that woman. I mean, the trial of the guards. <laughs> And say, can you uh, lead the way before something happens here? Uh, she, along with the mage hand, will walk out. Uh, the guards will open up the gates. She will walk beyond the gates and wait for you. And we'll walk out. You will walk out, yeah. I'm walking out. Ralph, uh, as you start to walk that way, you see some gnomes. <laughs> hey, Ralph. <laughs> Wave to them. Yeah. Oh, I will. Are, are you going to take your burrow with you, I assume? Hell yeah, yeah. I'm taking my burrow. I haven't let go of that sucker yet. As you guys exit the area, uh, the black robe, calm, nonchalant, uh, the guy kind of brooding, not very thrilled about this. Which uh, guy? The one mage with the big smile? The yeah. one with the attitude. He, he's not happy about this, uh, but he watches from a distance. Uh, Hendrix, as smug as he can be, I now declare you banished 
from this city. Close the gates on them. I'm going to say to Hendrix, are you planning on spending the rest of your life behind those gates? And I'm going to turn around. I'm going to uh, give a Highland salute. Nice. I'm going to do one of these before. <laughs> you, got, you guys all leave. Uh, the, mage, <laughs> yeah. the mage moves her mage hand back over to each of you. You, you may now hey, accept your Shut thing. up. Uh, I'll thank her. I'll thank her. The, the, gates so are, the gates are closed. She's on the outside. It would behoove you not to return. I'm just uh, saying. We don't have a reason to come back, but thank you. Thank you. Best You've of been... luck. Ralph might have one reason. Hey, I'm going to look back at Hendrix and say, Hendrix, closed. I'm going to go over the gate and say, tell your mother. I said hello. And wow. Walk away. Uh, the mage casts the spell. She rises up and flies back over the walls. Nice oh, levitator. All right, that's fine. We got what we want. I'm gonna get my battle like axe. Slur for a mage that could fly. Let's go levitator. find a place to. Let's. It's nighttime. Let's go find a place to make camp. I'll, I'll lead. I'll lead. That'll work. Uh, give me a survival check. Ugh, that's not, oh, that's plus three, I guess. Uh, 14. Yeah, you find a place. Uh, dry? It's dry for now. Dry enough. Okay. You dry what's until Barnum goes to bed. What's tomorrow going to be like? <laughs> yeah, it's dry right now. <laughs> for now. Mm. For now. Until it starts downpouring. Hope we pet that thing. The storms tomorrow. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, he's got one. Or was that a sheep? Is it going to have sheep coming? It was he's a little nice blurry. It looked everything. like it may have been a sheep. No, yeah. get your get your mind out of the farmyard, son. That was a that was a storm cloud. Uh, I don't know. I'm still seeing a sheep. Yeah, I'll same. Be, Is it going to be raining? Yeah, three legged sheep. I would like it to be raining. You can't run away as fast. I would like it to be raining legs of sheep when they just hit one of us in the head and give us a concussion. You have one of those dice, but it's made up to for what disease that uh, play, or, uh, Felix gets. And now I've got that chart, and it's all bad. I assume it'll be all bad. I, I think You've it's a HPV movie five. in high school that they watch. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's ST Triple D. It's what he's got. <laughs> Ooh, triple D's nuts. Uh, you guys are now outside the city gates, so there's no traffic coming in and out at this point in time. I assume you're going to get, you know, how, how far away do you want to get, Leon? <laughs> uh, uh, I want to get a couple miles outside. Yeah, of uh, uh, let's say about three clicks. I want to get away from the town. Then sure. uh, get off the road a hair. Sure. I don't want to be right on the road. Uh, you, you found a small copse of trees. Uh, suitable uh, foliage over you. Uh, you know, it's still the mountain region, but, you know, you're safe enough. Maybe a little overhang from the cliff, uh, and you should be dry for the night. Tomorrow, however, it is going to storm, uh, and you will be wet. Uh, this looks like a good spot to stop for right now. Now the adventure okay. starts. Now the adventure begins. So, uh, Frankie, what End of episode think? one. <laughs> Nobody died. All right. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Two brothers. Well, rest in peace, half over. Oh, yeah. Come back down. Frankie, what'd you think? Me? Yep. But you okay. Uh, I thought it was great. I thought Gornak did well, even though I didn't do much fighting as a barbarian. Oh, no, we did. Yeah. Sad, yeah. Which is hot for the game. Um, I, I thought I, I, I did good. I didn't put in a lot of fighting for the first one. So I think, that's a, I think that would have been a better idea. More fighting or less? Uh, I think a medium amount of fighting, an average amount, not too much, but not too little. With the way your sister was rolling, she would have died. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, uh, immediately. Yeah. Frank, what'd you think? Which one? I need to be more specific. Middle. <laughs> I, I'm going I liked up it. And... It was good. I thought there was a good amount of fighting because... I still got to, she needs to learn her spells and what she can do. So that was a good taster. Heck, even as my cleric, I still got to free, I got to figure out 
you know, my own spouse and everything. So there was good. It got yeah. the adventure and thank God we got another adventure under our belt. So I started thinking of what do we never have when we go in freaking caves and cliff areas? Light. Yeah. Light, rope, pittens, all oh, that now, stuff. Now you got all that stuff. Oh, so, and I, that, I got now, until it gets killed, runs away, or falls off a cliff. Yeah. Uh, Sophia, what'd you think? It was fun. Funny. Um, I don't know what else. <laughs> you can be yeah, that do you, fun of two words. Do you understand the I, mechanics of it? Do you understand what yeah, you're doing? Yeah, it got easier from the first time I did it. So, it's... <laughs> We got a little bit of work to do. Yeah. She just understands. She just needs a little bit more character understanding of what they can do and how to do it. I haven't yeah. had a chance to work with her. And that's why I kind of avoided a lot of combat. Just in Yeah, that was so. a good point for her. Uh, AJ, what do you think? Not a gambler and obviously Mr. Bad Luck. Ooh, yeah. I or good, good roll luck. Of... It depends on how you look at it. Yeah, yeah. I think that the DM definitely knows that what my weaknesses are, and I think it's pretty obvious. And who? I wonder if we will see Matilda again. You just oh, never God. know, really. I'm yeah. sure there will be others. Yeah, uh, Matilda's cousin in the next town that you slept with, also. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Maybe that's why she's <laughs> mad at me. We've been going around fort. that uh, Garnet Oval this whole yeah. time. Yeah, you've been out of your circuit. You so. just <laughs> right hey, uh, all I have to say is if we get kicked out of every town because of him, I don't want part of that. That's not my fault. Some town's going to get burnt down, and I don't want to be to blame. I believe you got kicked out because you committed homicide in the middle of the town square in front of witnesses. And allowed attacked. South American boys to use a head as a soccer ball. They retired the head and the Gogers attacked me. What do they want me to do? I don't know. I, I, I Solve don't it remember. with your words. I don't recall the Ogres hitting you until you hit them. I believe is how uh, the police report reads. <laughs> well, you know, they always say, you know, make the first move. In Florida, if you, you say, lose. in Florida, actually, you don't have to be attacked first. And if you just say you feel threatened, you can uppercut that man to the jaw and not be guilty in any case. Hey, Texas law. Mm -hmm. uh, Frank you Senior, what you think? You. I'm enjoying it. It's kind of nice not to be playing a, a magic user for a change. Somebody that, that just likes to fight. Yeah. And it's always nice to just club somebody. I love barbarians. Yeah, it just that attitude that, okay, let's fight. It doesn't matter if you're 20 times taller than me. Okay, let's try it. I like that, and I'm ready to fight. There you go. Uh, when we join them next time, who knows? Maybe there'll be another one on their party. Hard to say. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to be on a one-shot or on the talk show, M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice. Although I didn't use Big Red, I didn't need to. Sophia was rolling bad enough for everybody. And this game didn't stink. So uh, see if you can find Adventure Sense success. Because that is our mantra, our credo, our theme. I think I'm going to need that Adventure Sense. Uh, you, I think you're going to stick with Putrid Sewers. Uh, and of course, don't forget their Kickstarter for oddfishgames.com is 100%. However, there are stretch goals. So check that out, how to RPG with your cat. It is fun. I have played it. I had a good time. Uh, check that out for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc. We will see you on Tuesday for the talk show Between the Rolls. Let's give them the dating game Kiss and Wave. Kiss and wave. Ah, bye, everybody. I think.